is Lucy. She's a twin. He almost died. This is Bobo. He almost died when they were born. So I've been feeding them for about two months. And when the tornado came, they got in the doghouse and they survived. This is where we used to watch TV and play games. And we had a dining room set in here and it just blew away. And that used to be a dining room over here and that's gone. And then in there, the kitchen furniture, I don't know where that went, but you can see back through there. Well, here, let's get this first one. It doesn't look sturdy, but it is. Those are my study books. Uh, and Bible. I guess I better let that dry out, so. Whatever. Anyway, this is all insulation and first three people who came cried, and I hadn't even cried yet. We were still in like, you know, it's a miracle, we're alive, we're happy, but you couldn't get through this road, and just volunteers just had chainsaws, and they just constantly went and cleared the road. So people were running for miles. Our family was running for miles up through cow pastures and stuff just to get up to us to get our kids. So they got the kids out. If you see up there, you can see the 765 power lines. Those are the massive transmission lines from Ohio to Kentucky. Uh, I mean, all the way up from north to south from Ohio, and they're gone. So uh, that was scary. This is where we were, actually, right here. I had a futon down, like a little taco, and had my kids sleeping in it. They didn't even know. I moved them from their beds in the middle of the night and put them out in the hall and closed all the doors. And What I didn't think about was there's no door right here. So we got a lot of glass and debris from that. But this is where we were when the tornado hit. And it just sounded like a, like a train coming through the house. I didn't even know the house was gone until um, probably three or four minutes of laying in the dark and looking for a flashlight. That's so hard. I'm keeping all of my pictures. Even tornado damage pictures. Oh, there's my son. Didn't know he was under there. He's a little wet. He'll dry. That's Coleman. And they are not even traumatized. I'm telling you what, I mean, right at the point where I thought I couldn't save my children and that they were gonna that we were gonna die, it stopped. And I mean it's nothing. It's all God. I mean it is definitely a miracle. My dog survived, all of my, both of my dogs have a pregnant cat, a listening claw that she survived, but this is the rest of it. These windows busted out, but I closed them up. And so, we're just very fortunate. We just have a lot of cleanup to do. And if you look at this window, that's what, that's our my pod. That's everything that survived, which is pretty good, actually. Got three beds in there and three dressers and clothes and well not clothes. I think I took the clothes up the hill. All right. Hey, 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 hey. I need to get back to work.